Hello, welcome everybody today. In this tutorial, I would like to show you how to make a kind of lower third and after effect, a really simple one, to make your YouTube videos a bit more appealing by adding this little title as you see in the right bottom corner of this animation. All right, let us dive right into it. Let's say this is the video I am intending to upload to YouTube or something, and I want the title here. I take the missed video, so I don't even have to create a composition, I just drag it over the composition and it will automatically add here. Maybe this part is a bit more interesting, so let me shred it down to this point. I place it at the beginning and okay. In order for it to reveal from bottom, I select the pen behind tool, I select the anchor point and I place it on the bottom side at this point. This will make the scaling easier. I press S for scale, I unlink it and at the beginning I make the second axis 0%. Let me get closer. At one second it should be totally revealed. Of course I forgot to place the keyframes. Let me go back 0, 100. Okay, we have our first motion. The next thing I want to add will be our main text. I come closer and I'll press page down until I have enough space here, for example like that. Okay, I can place the title, it will be video title. And I wanna use another font, something more bold, something bigger, like impact. Okay, this looks fairly nice. Video title, all right, interesting. I place it at this point and I cut it down with the Alt and the left bracket key. So it will be not visible before, but once this reveals to this point, it starts to be visible. A bit up with the text, so we have some space here. All right, you don't have to be super, super precise here. This is okay. It will be revealed like that. If you would like to make a template out of it, please pre-compose this. You can pre-compose with the shortcut or selecting layer pre-compose. I'll pre-compose it. This will make it easier to change the text later. Uh, let me get back to my composition. I'll now press P to open up position. I'll set a keyframe here. And once the video is revealing, the text should also go a bit up. Something like that, just so it's not so boring. Let me maybe shift this keyframe here and preview it. Okay, the video reveals and the text goes up as well. Maybe this takes a bit too long. Let's make it more interesting by making it more swift and quick. Okay, the text is animated. Now I want to create a little tagline under this video. So I select my rectangle tool and I create a new shape. A shape like that. Maybe we should adjust the color. Uh, I will think about it. Maybe select the fill color to something red, something more entertaining like that. Okay, I will stay with this red. And we have our shape layer. This shape layer will be placed forward as well and I will parent it with the video title. Parenting will make the, the same movement when it moves in the position towards the top. This object will also move to the top and I have to set no keyframes here. I just tell him, hey, this is your parent so you have to follow wherever he goes. So what keyframes I place here will apply also to the parented layer. Okay, I have my parented layer and I want a sort of animation here so I select a scale by pressing S, I unlink it and maybe, oh, since the anchor point is here in the middle, I need to take the anchor point and place it in one of the corners. I select the anchor point and I place it in the right upper corner. Okay, now I can work with the scale, with the second scale. I place a keyframe to 0% and a few frames forward, 100%. I'll get an animation like that, so it slowly reveals. And now I can reveal the last text. Without any further ado, I just select the text. Let me go to the place where everything is revealed. I come a bit closer. Text. Cool tagline for this video. Okay, the font is absolutely not... Well, this font is actually cool. It's a script type of font. These fonts really work great for taglines. Let me adjust it. This tagline should work. I make it even smaller, that will be okay. Okay, like this, I should make this shape as well a bit bigger. I just select it, 
I make it a bit bigger. I really don't care if if this will be too big. Okay, cool. The text in the right position. And now the text should be also revealed. So let us have some fun with the text. This text should begin above this object and slowly go towards this object. I have it parented with the video title as well. And now I'll work with the keyframes. The first keyframe will be at this position and the next keyframe will be perfectly here so it's visible. Let me adjust it, okay, and it should be placed here. Now the last thing we want to do is that the text will not be visible here because this looks just wrong. So you can adjust it really, really easy. Just duplicate this object, place this object above the text and make the text track method. I mean, use the alpha mat shape layer too. Now the text will not be visible unless it will be here where the new object is. A little downside that you have two times the same object, the wrapped object, but this is how you reveal text like that. Let me preview it, how this plays out. I plus space, we have a nice title, everything fades in properly, and we can do some adjustments. Some adjustment could be, for example, making the keyframe east in. So it's a bit more interesting. All right, the title stays for several seconds. Now, if you want to make something more interesting here, select everything, just not the video, because the video is our background, which plays. I just want to work on the title. I press T for opacity, I keyframe it, go a few frames forward and make it 0% so it disappears. Now I can once again select all four of those layers, layer, pre-compose and like title thingy or you can call it as you want. So now it will be very easy for me to adjust it because it will reveal here and then after a few seconds it disappears and I can always go in always select this shape, select this shape and change the text, go back to my title thingy and do any changes I want. I can recolor those shapes. For example, you have another team and you say red isn't anymore the color I wanted to use. You use blue and for the text you, you use another color like something green or really something else extreme like this yellow or orange. Okay, I go back to the mist and we have a completely different setup with just a few changes. Of course, this color is very wrong now, but this is what I wanted to show you how to do this properly. So let me control Z to the previous colors. And that's how you create a little intro thingy like that. You can check out other of my tutorials or my full courses from the description below. I invite you sincerely to do that. I have some cool content you might be interested in. If you are, please go ahead, check it out and see you in the next video.